Uh, welcome everyone to the Center to Support Excellence in Teaching. This is our series called Pondering Excellence, and it's an occasional speaker series where we literally ponder excellence by having experts come in and give us talks. And I'm actually going to turn it over to our graduate student, Megan Durkin, to introduce our speaker. But I want to thank everyone and encourage you to ponder as you listen to Dr. Suzuki, so, excuse me, Suzuki, and um, think about your questions that you want to ask at the end of his talk. Helen, is there anything I missed logistically that we need to share? Um, questions will be um, taking up throughout, so feel free to add those into the Q&A. You can upvote them, and we will we'll be getting to Q&A at the end, but I think that's it. Okay, then I'm going to turn it over to Megan for the formal introduction of our speaker. Thank you, and welcome. Thanks, Janet. Um, welcome. I'm Megan. I'm a second-year doctoral student here at Stanford in the Graduate School of Education um, in the Curriculum Studies and Teacher Education department and focus on professional learning specifically in math education. So very excited to welcome uh, Dr. Suzuki. So um, just as a brief introduction, he is an associate professor in the Institute for Liberal Arts at Tokyo Institute of Technology. He holds a bachelor's degree in education, master's degree in education, and PhD in education, all from the University of Tokyo. He was a research fellow of Japan's Society for the Promotion of Sciences and a project lecturer at the University of Tokyo. His previous books include Formation and Development of Teachers' Professional Communities, A Genealogy of Research on School Reform in the United States, School Reform Theory, A Challenge of American Educational Research, Reforming Lesson Study in Japan, Theories of Action for Schools as Learning Communities, and Reggio Children's Wonder of Learning, Early Childhood Education at Reggio Emilia. His research interests include lesson study, school reform, action research, teachers' professionalism, professional learning, and professional community. And he is currently here as a visiting scholar at UC Berkeley um, and joins us today to discuss the reform of lesson study, focusing on case studies of the school reforms in Japan. So please join me in welcoming Dr. Suzuki. Well, uh, yeah, thanks so much. So thank you, uh, uh, Dr. Janet Carlson, and uh, I'm Megan Smith-Durkin uh, for the uh, introduction. Uh, I really appreciate it. So uh, once again, my name is... Uh, okay. Oh, uh, you can look the yeah. kind of profile there. Okay, okay. Yeah, we're balancing out. There's people in the room, there's people online. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You look good from all angles. Yeah. So. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, actually, uh, once again, uh, my name is uh, Yuji Suzuki, and uh, thank you everyone for attending the talk uh, despite uh, your uh, busy schedules. And uh, actually, uh, very early morning in Japan, uh, uh, East Asia and uh, Southeast Asia. So I'm honored to see so many people uh, around the world in attendance today, and also. Uh, I'd like to thank the uh, Center to Support Excellence uh, in teaching, she said, at uh, Stanford University uh, for making this event possible. And especially uh, to uh, Dr. Hilda Balko and Dr. Carlson and uh, Ms. Uh, Megan Smith-Turkey for making this possible too. Uh, thanks so much. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, yeah. So uh, the title uh, to this talk is uh, Learning to Early Medical Study in Japan at our uh, school as a learning community. Uh, I'd like to talk about my book here. Yeah. So, let's. Uh, and it's, yeah, there you are. So, uh, Reform Study in Japan and uh, the Reform Study Reforms uh, I'm currently involved in, uh, along with some video clips uh, that I filmed, uh, filmed and edited. So, uh, my presentation will be about uh, 45 minutes. After that, uh, I'd like to hear and uh, learn from you uh, discussion. So, and you want to use the clicker, yeah. yeah. So, it'll show up there what they're seeing online. Great. Yeah. Love it. So, uh, let me refer to the contents. Uh, uh, today, I, I have uh, three main contents. Uh, first, uh, in the theory, uh, I talk about the uh, underlying theory of my research. Uh, second, uh, in the origins, I talk about the uh, starting points of business reform uh, 25 years. 
So third, uh, in the practices, uh, I talk about uh, the current lesson study before. Actually, I, I, I call it. So, um, uh, I will introduce myself. So, uh, my research topic is uh, theory and uh, history of previous education in the States and Japan. So uh, I've been doing feedback and action research on school for over uh, 50 years. So actually, uh, the, the action research uh, I'm referring to relies on uh, Donald Sean. I'll explain later. So I'm uh, listening and uh, learning uh, from the field. Uh, this is uh, the important words by uh, Stanford professor, maybe Warren McCoffrey, and my mom. So actually, just uh, 10 years ago, I received a lot of advice about my doctor dissertation directly from Haki. So thanks so much. So I have published three main uh, academic books. So yeah, As, uh, and this is uh, the first book is uh, about a formation development of teachers community. Uh, in Japanese. So uh, this trace uh, the research of uh, Bakovi and uh, UC Berkeley Professor Jesus Wendy. So the second book is so uh, uh, this is about school reform theory. So this trace the research of uh, Donald Sean and uh, Joseph uh, McDonald. So, a third book is Reform uh, University in Japan, a series of action uh, for schools as learning community. So uh, this book sematized a uh, recent study before and aim to examine the formation and the development of school reform for schools as uh, learning communities in Japan from 10 years from 1998. One uh, was uh, what is lesson study? Uh, lesson study is uh, a series of activities to improve uh, teachers' teaching, uh, which includes planning, practicing, observing, and reviewing lessons uh, from main people. Uh, notably, uh, increased awareness of issues in Japanese education and the proposal by Japanese education scholars from the late 1990s to the early uh, 2000s coincided with growing uh, international interest in Japanese lesson study. So uh, this, uh, this is because while the highlighted international interest in Japanese residency uh, tend to uh, pursue a uh, standard residency, a school reform for SLC and pursue a residency reform, uh, which resisted the blockage uh, of teaching and the standardization, uh, and the standardization of Japanese residency. So actually, do you have my hand out on Zoom? Yeah, so yeah, I'm putting the link on there, I'm trying to figure out. Just got some okay. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. sexy. So, yeah. So, uh, and then uh, what is, uh, yeah, thanks so much. So, uh, what is uh, SLC? So, uh, SLC is a school reform that uh, focuses on reform lessons study to build a community where children, teachers, parents, and students can learn from each other. So uh, Hamarawa Elementary School had established in 1998 as the first part school of SLC with Professor Manu Santo, who is uh, my mentor as a university uh, as a new public school to be built to uh, accommodate population growth in Chigasaki City in Akana Prefecture. And the Toshiaki also who is founding principal and vision and pilot school for the city school, one uh, former director of the city board of education. Since then, uh, more than 2,000 schools have committed themselves to SLC reform. Uh, that is quite a uh, quiet revolution, and more than uh, 4,000. Its global development has extended to North America, East Asia, and Southeast Asia over 10 to 20 years. So, um, 
So uh, how can uh, we study a school uniform for SLC? Uh, so next, I'll discuss the basic theory behind my research into the extremely complex phenomenon that is a school uniform. So uh, show uh, McDonald's uh, 1998 book, uh, Doing What You Mean to Do in School Reform, uh, elucidated, elucidated a theory of action in school reform that in the underlined the Anemar chart in national project launch, uh, national project launched in 1993. The Anemar chart was funded by a uh, uh, five, uh, $500 million donation from uh, World of Anemar, one of the largest donation to American uh, public education at the time. So actually, uh, this uh, donation was so generous that then uh, President Clinton described it as a serum in the White House on December 70th as a, a wonderful Christmas present to American students. And it became a, a major peer, a major project uh, as follows. So uh, they prepared a theory of action approach for uh, their study of animal challenge school reform uh, code uh, to explore the complexities of intention in school reform. We rely on a theory of action approach to reform and its evaluation, one that derived from the work of uh, Chris Aziz has shown. Uh, a theory of uh, action approach to reform and evaluation is an analytic, uh, analytical tool that aims to help practitioners including designers and implementers of reform, I reflect upon and make explicit the knowledge that shape what they do. In other words, it is a tool that helps them inquire into and learn from their own practice. So uh, what is the uh, theory of action? Uh, it is possible to confirm the definition of the theory of action from the work of Aziz and Sean. Uh, what, uh, quote, what we call series of action, uh, which have the advantage of including strategies of action, the values that govern the choice of strategies and the assumption on which uh, they are based. We define a theory of action in terms of particular situation S, a particular consequence in, in, the, in the situation C, and uh, an action strategy A for obtaining consequence, uh, for obtaining C in S. The general form of a theory of action is if you intend to produce C in S, then do A. So this is the definition. Uh, so further, uh, they indicate that the theory of action in school reform consists of three facets. First is exposed theory, intention as a uh, repeat or implied in speech, a press release, interviews of key actors, a program documents, and the like. The second one is design theory, the intention implicit in its program structures and strategies, the start of program implementation, including work plans, mechanics, procedures, budget, and so on. And the third one is uh, theory in use, the intention evident in what uh, participants actually do. So uh, it became immediately then that these intentions are featured in all three series of action. The application of these is required to explore the complexities of intentions to be found, and that each facet is related as a theory is a characteristic of their approach. So uh, the, the, uh, let's now examine the concepts underlying the theory of action. So the terms action research and organizational learning are form key concepts of all this and shown work, which underlies show and McDonald's theory. All this and shown introduced the theme of practitioner research and collaboration in action research, and emphasized the following four points. <coughs> cool. uh, these researchers should join with practitioners who seek to, uh, seek to promote productive organizational learning and to understand the nature of their own learning processes and system. The researchers should try to discover what practitioners already know how to do, and to learn to appreciate the inquiry in which practitioners are already engaged. And these researchers should join with practitioners to help discover the hidden rationality. And this research function should be coupled with helping practitioners extend and enhance the inquiry they only know how to carry out. 
So uh, what is uh, the organizational learning? Uh, the concept of organizational learning integrated by as this has shown uh, is also was noted. Organizational learning occurs uh, when individuals within the organization experience a problematic situation and inquire into it on the organization, organization's behalf. But they experience a surprising mismatch in between expected and actual results of action. And the response to that mismatch as through a process of thought and further action that leads them to modify the images of organization or the, uh, the understanding of organizational phenomena and to restructure their activities so as to bring outcomes and expectations into life and thereby achieving organizational theory views. In order to become organizational, the learning that results uh, from organizational inquiry, inquiry must become embedded in the images of organization, having its members' mind and what in the, the epistemological article, maps, memories, and problems embedded in the organizational environment. So, Uh, these concepts of a uh, theory of action uh, is beautiful by Sean and McDonald, uh, and the underlying concept of action research and organizational learning by Aziz and Sean are uh, as uh, relevant to the construction of the methodology for exploring SLC uh, by such as an action research. Uh, this is because it indicates the similarities between the path of theory practice by Sato and a path of uh, the theory of action by Sean and McDonald and others shown uh, both or all a path of uh, action research. Uh, Sean and McDonald also argue that uh, when an initiative is up and running, the facet of uh, its theory of action coexist, but uh, nevertheless, a caution that the parties to the initiative may not be aware of the presence and influence of all three facets of uh, the diff our of the differences among and what the difference signal. So yeah, so uh, uh, finally, uh, let us examine uh, the uh, relationship between actual school reform and uh, its research. Then uh, how can the uh, three facets of the theory of action the school reform be illuminated? Uh, is it even possible? Important which uh, they refer to the possibility of exploration through the term constructive partnership. Uh, quote, we believe only by means of constructive partnership between an initiative insiders and some outsiders give license to explore on the inside. Uh, they emphasize that a theory of action is constructive, it is never simply given. Uh, it must be constructed between insiders and outsiders to be the constructive partners and must be examined against the data that is actually visited. So uh, next, uh, let's take a closer look at, at the origin of SLC uh, using the theory of action approach as our analytical framework. A Hamanobo elementary school was the first part school of SLC. At the most, more than a thousand educators uh, have visited the school in a year in Japan. Uh, let's uh, uncover uh, some of the reasons why. So, uh, first, uh, let's consider the interesting encounter. Uh, what was the nature of the encounter uh, between OSE, who is the founding uh, principal of Hamamai the School, and the Professor Sato? Quote, why did uh, Professor Marusato's theory of school reform based on the keyword learning community adapt me so strongly? Uh, this was because I have some doubts about the relationship between schools and research. For me, who felt uh, the need to transform the entire school, uh, entire school from its education system and was uh, searching for a concrete strategy. The idea is that uh, Sato's writing paper to concrete and I thought that the day could be immediately applied to today's schools, which face many challenges. I know no other researcher than Professor Sato to have a grasp teacher's psychology remarkable, uh, which is so difficult to understand, and to have initiated initiate concrete strategies based on his 
a thorough analysis of limitation and the difficulty of chain through the practices a practice of eight thousand class in Japan, the state, and uh, other countries. Uh, this is a principle as you see. And a new type of education, a new type of education research has appeared. Uh, I can do my own school reform with this. A sort of theory moved me and leads me to I believe that uh, this was the theory that I have been looking for. So uh, first, why did Sato's work uh, leave such a strong impression on Ose? I note that it is specified as a theory of school reform. What Ose wanted was not a theory of teaching or a theory of learning, but a theory of school reform. I also doubt about uh, the relation between schools and researchers and between practice and theory are related to Sato's work. Uh, this elucidated that uh, both Ose and uh, Sato uh, uh, shared a uh, common awareness of uh, the characteristic theory of school reform. Thus, uh, also the encounter with such a theory was enabled. The shock also felt at this moment when he invited Sato as a new type of education research. So, uh, what about uh, the problems of the lesson study? Uh, Atashiko Inara, who was a mentor of Sato, actually, who was a mentor of my mentor, so also pointed out that. The standardization of lesson study played a role in the blockage of teaching. Cool. Lesson study, which has been widely used in schools since the first year of the Meiji period, has been defining its legality in terms of aims, contents, and methods since the Chinese year of the Meiji period. And the methodology of lesson study has also been standardized, thus uh, functioning as a means to block a teacher's autonomous judgment and choice in the class. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, uh, what, uh, 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 so in the uh, following, I take these uh, two aspects as crude, uh, as crude, uh, as uh, blockage and standardization. So, first, uh, uh, this is about the blockage. A uh, one potential that Ose see in Sato's theory also includes uh, only one direct quote from Sato in his paper, which sheds some light in uh, this context. Uh, quote, schools are places uh, where uh, people learn and grow together based on this simple idea. Schools should be concerned. The road to the restoration of the school can only be studied from the restoration of the natural time, space, and relation which were lost in the process of the modern maintenance and the national armament of the school. And from the transition to learning community in which the pains and joys of learning were valued and shared. Uh, it must initially be noted that the school is the subject of all these quotations. It should also be stated that this indicates a point of interest in all the criticism against schools. Uh, not was uh, also regarded Sato as a, a new type of education research confirmed that uh, he, uh, he could attempt his own school reform with this. In also the understanding, uh, Sato's theory of school reform represents the genealogy, a genealogy of a new theory that differs in character from the genealogy of the ex existing theory. And therefore, also could extract his conception of school reform from it. In other words, the, the theory of school reform proposed by Sato was not intended to apply uh, to the, the actual implementation of the theory, theory in practice. Rather, it was a theory that passed a theory in practice that could function in the school field. And that's uh, also, uh, as a practitioner of school reform, uh, could elicit its support in uh, formulating his vision of school <coughs> beyond the bracket. The uh, theory, therefore, uh, Theory function as an exposed theory. So, uh, next is about standardization. Uh, with uh, regard to the problems of lesson study, I uh, also, also observed that, of course, the reluctance to open class, uh, classes seem to be uh, deeply related to the formation of a type of mass teaching. 
and uh, uh, lesson study conference that has uh, continued since the May period to this day. Uh, the lesson study style is supported by such a long tradition and so a uh, universal technique that will be effective for any teacher in any class in the country. Uh, this style of lesson study has prevented teachers from creating direct teaching practices by scoring their own independent judgment and individual about aims, contents, and methods of teaching. And the lesson study for standardization has also created the problem of teachers uh, running uh, solely on uh, technical uh, practices and focusing on exclusively on the, uh, the analysis of visible skills, such as questioning and instructing. The existing lesson study has created an uh, uh, internal situation in which the individuality of teachers is ignored, and both teachers and children become overly tense and excited that uh, create, creates excessive pressure and makes it difficult to offer class on a daily basis. Our reform of the lesson study has started with changing this. So, uh, also, I treated in Anagi's research as exposed to lessons that before. Uh, he concluded that uh, the, uh, the excessive pressure of such standardizing practices have created a culture of teaching that was at odds with the idea of opening class. And notably, therefore, uh, Hamadagawa Elementary School's lessons and reform was a departure from this trend and required its teacher to create uh, individual instruction. In principle, a such a sweeping reform of school culture represents an extremely complex and difficult undertaking, as it does not involve the, the mere conception of a principal's plan, as that is faithfully followed by teaching. In fact, our also theory of action has discouraged such a faithful implementation of the plan by teaching, and was even recognized as a roadblock in uh, reform. And this is because also expected that the teachers who are the change agent, uh, agents of school reform and the teaching profession are uh, to fully uh, demonstrate their independent judgment and individuality. So uh, here we can also find also the design of school reform. So uh, at the end of uh, the uh, part of uh, origin, Let's look at uh, Sato's ideas on teacher discourse, uh, which strongly influenced the, the theory in use of Hamagami Tesco's lesson study before. And uh, this is because it is also related to the next section, uh, uh, section of practice. So uh, Sato pointed out, uh, quote, uh, uh, during the school profession develop, all uh, participants will discuss specific examples of lesson, uh, lesson with each other while watching video recording. The purpose of a case study is not to evaluate the quality of lesson, but it's to share the fun and difficulty of the class with each other. Uh, what happens in a class uh, is extremely complex. Uh, we must uh, decipher the complexity hidden in seemingly a simple matter. The most important thing is discussion, that is to avoid abstract words and to discuss uh, only simple impressions and concrete facts in line with observed uh, cases. If each participant is able to exchange their own simple impressions, it uh, will be uh, surprising how many things can be done. So, uh, now uh, let me talk about uh, practices. So uh, here I'd like to focus on the subject of collaborative learning as uh, passed by the SLC uh, school reform. Yeah. So uh, uh, here is a case study of uh, Mihama town uh, near prefecture. Uh, this is an area where uh, the Board of Education uh, has continued to support all seven of, of the elementary, elementary and junior high schools in their reform for more than a decade. Actually, uh, this, this year is the uh, 11th year for my involvement for the reform. <coughs> and Professor Manu Sato has also provi provided uh, ongoing support. 
So uh, within the Japanese uh, public school system, where there are periodic personal changes among teachers, principals, and supervisors, the reform has continued at the town level. Actually, uh, during this period, the superintendent is a sad and the supervisor is a forced person to serve. So uh, today, uh, based on the videos of research recent, uh, of junior high school English and uh, elementary school math of this June, uh, we explore collaborative learning. Uh, because both schools and teachers are passing the creation of collaborative learning in their classes, and there's a series of, of, of action on collaborative learning uh, in the process of being developed. So, yeah. Uh, uh, let's review the outline of uh, the first uh, research lesson. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, so goal is to a deepen understanding of a previ uh, previously studied passive voice by interacting with each other in English. Uh, the same uh, as we focus on here, uh, uh, one in which the students greet each other in English in pairs. This is the first thing. And the, uh, the other in which the four students are working in groups on quiz one. So quiz one is actually the uh, uh, what it is. Uh, it is made from soybeans. Uh, this is uh, particles. And there are two types. And it is often eaten, uh, this is also uh, as a question. It is often eaten with green onion and leaves. What is this? This is Christmas. So um, and the teacher uh, hope, uh, hope the students would enjoy uh, interacting with each other in English. So, yeah. And, uh, you know, so uh, these photos are extremely from uh, your handle. Uh, and uh, in the first thing, uh, Megumi, so, so Megumi and Shinji uh, are the uh, first pair. And uh, uh, the, the rest, uh, the Tatsuya, uh, so, so K and Tatsuya are the second. And in the uh, second thing, uh, these, these four uh, working uh, group. So uh, actually, uh, uh, these videos were taken by me in June. So I'd like to thank the Board of Education and the schools for allowing me to use these uh, here. So uh, I mean, you can watch the videos. And, uh, uh, please use the, the next slide. Of, uh, so transcript, uh, transcript of the uh, children's conversation. Okay, so. Okay, so uh, let's watch the yeah, video. So uh, this is uh, Megumi and Shinji, uh, and then uh, the Kenyan Tatsu. So uh, let's watch the videos. Um, uh, let's watch and uh, learn from the videos. Uh, so actually, uh, these videos are so uh, short. So first one is about uh, one minute and second one is uh, two minutes. So, but uh, these videos are so uh, interesting. So, let's watch and um, love uh, the videos. Yeah, uh, this is the first. So, uh, 
that was a, a second scene of the uh, English speaking person. So um, this is a uh, group. Yeah, so uh, uh, this is a, a very joyful, uh, uh, actually important scene. So, yeah. Sorry, two. This room has had some technical um, special characteristics today. So thank you for your flexibility oh, yeah, and yeah, Megan yeah. for helping out. Yeah. We're back. Yeah. <laughs> right. So uh, let's examine uh, some of the uh, features uh, that are a characteristic of a uh, post research testing conference. So uh, it can be said that the teachers are seeking to develop a theory of action uh, for collaborative life. So uh, the, the, the teachers said that, in fact, uh, there were many students who didn't want to learn English at the beginning of April. April. So uh, April is uh, the, the start, starting point of uh, school year in Japan. So uh, because the teachers shared uh, such a difficult situation with the colleagues, so for example, a teacher noted that the students were able to work on their task with smiles on their faces, even under the tension of no Japanese time. And the other teachers suggested that the assignment setting was so appropriate uh, for the students. So yeah, uh, uh, this is true. So and, uh, and supervisors of the Board of Education also pointed out that the students were trying to uh, communicate in English without hesitation. There was a good atmosphere of collaborative learning among the students, and uh, they were beginning to learn how to learn English and were uh, working on uh, learning from each other. Yeah, uh, this is so important. So I think the teachers uh, accurately describe the students' mutual need for each other and their uh, in enjoyment of uh, communicating in English. So yeah, uh, in addition to that, the, these videos uh, were uh, also used uh, during my June talk at the end of the uh, post research lesson conference. So uh, and the, the, the teacher's uh, argument didn't uh, take place after my lecture. So 
the fact that the focus of the teacher's argument uh, overlap with the, uh, the focus of my videos is a sign that uh, our exp explanations are on the same track. So uh, this point is uh, relevant to the uh, later discussion I, I, I explained later. So uh, let's uh, review the uh, outline of the next messages. Yeah. So uh, our goal is uh, can I figure out uh, how to find the area of a, co a composite figure uh, that includes a circle and can find the area. So uh, this is uh, the research is uh, mass research is on sixth grade. So the thing we, we focus on here is one in which children are, are working on the a more development task, uh, task two. So actually, uh, this uh, task two is so difficult. So this task is beyond the level of the text. And the goal is not to obtain the correct answer, but to deepen the children's learning as they work on the task. Uh, therefore, uh, instead of just calling it, uh, it developmental task, the special term jumping task, which was uh, theoretically introduced by Professor Sato, is used uh, by the teacher as a response to theory. So, yeah. Uh, so, here we'd like to focus on a one group uh, of children's characteristic interaction. Uh, it was a memorable uh, uh, for the teachers and me. So in particular, I look at uh, now. So she's now. Okay, so uh, you can watch the video uh, with uh, a handout uh, uh, of a trans students interaction. So uh, this video uh, also uh, show, uh, very short. Uh, the first one is about uh, uh, and two and a half minutes. And the second one is 10 seconds. <laughs> so, yeah, so and, uh, 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 let's watch uh, um, a row from uh, this. Uh, actually, this very important, important thing for the uh, research. So uh, yeah, let's watch the uh, video. Thank you. 
So uh, after the short uh, introduction, so the uh, the next thing is so uh, critical thing. So actually, uh, now it says uh, something. So yeah, uh, let's go Yeah, so yeah, uh, she said that, uh, this is the first time I know now. Yeah, so okay, so uh, let's uh, examine uh, some of the teachers' uh, narratives. So, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yes, thanks. So, yeah, uh, it was the, the children's cognitive learning and that was most impressive to the teachers, a teacher who was a first assigned to this from outside the town. And she described it as deep learning. So, uh, she said, after a process of teaching each other and working with it out among the three themselves, now really understood for the first time about uh, making this month into fraction when uh, doing little uh, calculation. Uh, actually, uh, this is the, the uh, teaching unit of the uh, fifth grade, but uh, so this is a, uh, a phenomenal legal. And a supervisor uh, who had uh, developed his experience at a pilot school in the town and has watched uh, these six graders and uh, graders grow for six years with me. Also, I uh, described uh, the same first as being proactive and the ability to run. Uh, these are key terms in the, uh, uh, the current national policy in Japan. But further originally, I described their learning with. Uh, their learning with persistence and stated that it was important that uh, sharing of the other's lack of understanding was occurring and insight knowing that the collaborative learning was created because the children shared the other's lack of learning, uh, lack of understanding. So, uh, you know, so this would be a, a penetrating insight it points out that the starting point for creating collaborative learning is to listen to, accept, and share the other's lack of understanding. So, yeah, uh, through this discussion, a theory of action for collaborative learning will be developed. So, uh, that's the, the final part. In this talk, we, we have examined the theoretical basis of the organization study. Uh, then explore the origin of SLC at Hamano Elementary School, uh, Chikaseki City, Kanawa Prefecture, and learn from the, uh, one of the latest practice of SLC uh, in Mihama Town, uh, Mi Prefecture. Uh, let's examine uh, these practices from uh, the, the theory of action approach. First, I built a conservative partnership with the reform uh, for uh, 11 years. I've been one of the outsiders, outsiders collaborating with the inside and explored on the inside. Second, it, uh, it is important to know that I have constructed rather than discovered given things, the teacher's theory of action. I identified the facts of children's collaborative learning that were impressive to the teachers and constructed a theory of action from the, uh, for example, supervisor's learning which describe the significance of the facts, classroom facts. So uh, the organi organizational learning of such constructive series action will be the key to the future. At the very least, this was the first opportunity of this year for organizational learning for the teachers this year. And the viewing of my talk this time, 
And the next my visit to the, the town schedule uh, for November next month will be another opportunity for such theory of action to be developed. So uh, this is the uh, final slide. Um, please recall that in the text of Santos conception of the SAC, which was the only direct quote by Hanover and Pesco's author with the founding part principle, Sato spoke of burying and sharing uh, the joy of learning. The joy of uh, their learning is evident in the collaborative learning of the children and students of the town, uh, suggesting the professional joy of learning of the teachers who discover and discuss it, and putting to the joy of learning as a change agent in the process of inquiry of the Havana Elementary School teachers who created the origin of the SFC. At the same time, if we look at Sato's insistence of burying and sharing the pain of learning, we can say that the process of reformation study is a process of taking a long time to enjoy of learning and unlearning again. So more than 10 years of progress in Mihama Town, and more than 25 years in Havana Elementary School as a very uh, steady process, a quiet revolution. So, uh, yeah, uh, acknowledgement here. So without uh, the support, my research would not be here. So finally, uh, I'd like to acknowledge the researchers and the practitioners who also are uh, leading experts in this field and who have uh, directly uh, advised. So uh, here the differences. So, yeah. yeah. Thank you very much for that. We'll move into some Q&A. So the Q&A is open on the Zoom if anyone has questions, but I think we'll start with any questions in the room that have come up. Yeah. Oh, good call. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, good. now you're on. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming at you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, hi, my name is Marcia. I'm a first year PhD student here at the Graduate School of Education. Um, before coming to the Graduate School of Education, I was actually an ALT teacher in Japan for mm -hmm. two years at a junior high school. Mm -hmm. And um, I really appreciated your talk about, about lesson study reform. But one of my challenges when I was in ALT is that many of the teachers would not really be open to reform. So I was wondering, how do you begin these conversations with those teachers and try to open themselves up to uh, their options um, from the outside perspective? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, thank you for your uh, 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 that question. So, yeah, uh, actually, so uh, yeah, the uh, mostly uh, the one uh, uh, important thing is that the uh, reforming lesson study is to uh, provide a learning opportunity for uh, all uh, school teachers within the school. So. Yeah, th this is so important point. So, uh, uh, including uh, uh, ALT and uh, other uh, teachers. So, yeah, uh, before we studies to, uh, so the, the important point to uh, how, how to make uh, and, and uh, provide uh, uh, opportunity to learn for, for teachers. So uh, this is so important. So uh, and uh, as I uh, talk about uh, here, uh, the, the 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 teachers. Um, uh, got to the opportunity to learn for uh, uh, towards the uh, uh, learning profession, and uh, the, uh, they can uh, 
22 uh, that uh, uh, joy of, of life as a, a teaching or a learning profession. So, and uh, yeah, to do that. So the uh, uh, one thing that I, I would say is that the, uh, the, the uh, when uh, reform lesson study, the teachers uh, uh, share uh, the joy of learning uh, as a teaching profession or a learning profession is uh, so uh, important, uh, important moment. So yeah, uh, yeah, uh, I think the uh, reform lesson study to uh, uh, Distance that uh, can uh, contribute to uh, make and um, provide and share uh, the opportunity to learn uh, from each other, from a uh, uh, correct teacher within school. So, yeah, this is so important. Yeah, yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. We have a question that's similar um, from Dr. Uh -huh. Jenny Asuna. <laughs> Oh, yeah, oh yeah. we'll stay on you. Yeah. yeah. Um, Dr. Jenny Asuna, she, can you see it on your screen too? I can read it. But let me just... Yeah. Um, so she says, I'm curious to hear more about the experience of joy and its connection to collaborative learning. What do you think were the components of collaboration that supported joy? Yeah, do you see it on yours? I can show you on here too. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. Um, Mm, yeah, uh, yeah, I got it. Yes, so yeah, uh, uh, thank you. Uh, there is also a uh, uh, great uh, question. So, <coughs> um, I think uh, the, um, when uh, we engage a uh, different uh, study, so uh, it is important point that uh, collaborative learning. So uh, actually, so it means uh, collaborative learning among uh, children and uh, collaborative learning among uh, the, the teachers and, and uh, among the uh, teachers and uh, principals and uh, educational administrators. So actually, uh, one uh, engaging the uh, lesson study before, the uh, collaborative, collaborative learning is uh, so uh, important key to Key point. So and and then so I think the uh, uh, but so uh, uh, one thing uh, that I would say is that the, actually the collaborative learning among them is uh, so important point, but. Uh, Actually, there are uh, some uh, differences among the teachers' collaborative learning and uh, children's collaborative learning. So, yeah, so actually, uh, the differences uh, is also key. Actually, uh, teachers' uh, collaborative learning uh, means the professional collaborative learning. So, th this is uh, different from the uh, children's uh, collaborative learning. So, so, and then, so uh, our uh, 
question our issue is to uh, what is uh, uh, a professionalist or what is a uh, professional life. So, but uh, uh, I think that uh, there are the, uh, some differences uh, among the uh, children life and uh, teachers life. So especially uh, teachers die uh, realize or uh, we realize uh, uh, their professional life. So that, that is uh, uh, important and uh, uh, interesting and <laughs> difficult uh, point to uh, conduct a different case study. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you so much. Do you want to keep going with the tour of the video? Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, we are over time. Um, but thank you everyone for joining us on the webinar and here in the room. Um, and Dr. Suzuki, thank you so much for yeah. sharing everything with us. I think there's a lot to um, take with us about the, I love your phrase of the joy and the difficulty of learning and kind of navigating those both together. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much for joining us this evening and yeah. thank you Thanks everyone. So much. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry to everyone. It's okay, they just came in right at the end. <laughs>